Since as long as I can remember, I've had uh, an interest in medicine. Back when my dad had his dental practice, I'd hang out in the waiting room and pretend I was a dentist working on the teeth of his patient's kids. It just seemed to be a natural thing, treating patients. You know, surgery was really the area that captivated my interest. I like building things, I like working with my hands, I like the complexity of you know, three-dimensional structures and, and fixing problems uh, in a hands-on way. In seventh grade, I thought, okay, I'm gonna design and build a robot. And I had no idea how to do that, but was determined to follow through on it and started out building hands. And they're you know, literally modeled after my own with each individual digit was made from a dowel rod cut to the exact same dimensions as each segment of each of my fingers and then connected those to a spring gear box and then a motor and actually made them open and close so they, they worked. And I uh, thought this really makes sense to combine you know, surgery, particularly neurosurgery, with device development. You can restore function to paralyzed individuals and, and, and that's just the beginning. The idea of helping people directly and that's really the personal aspect of medicine is helping people one-on-one -on -one and seeing the results and seeing people improve. I mean, one of the most rewarding things that I could envision doing is having a patient come in with a problem that I can diagnose and understand and then offer a solution that I've played an integral part in conceptualizing and creating and, and bringing to clinical use. I you know, encourage people to ask questions. I, I try to treat patients and their families in the same manner that I would like to be treated, but also trying to understand from their perspective what's bothering them and letting them understand how surgery or conservative treatment could be most appropriate. You know, some of the more, most rewarding moments are you know, after surgery, a patient wakes up and, and they have a smile and they say, hey, my pain's gone, or hey, look, my tremor's gone, hey, you know, I can walk, I couldn't do this. And, and some of those you know, patients will shed tears, they're so excited, uh, and that's, that's, that's a great feeling. It makes the, the decades, literally decades and decades of training worth it. I'm Dr. Daniel DiLorenzo, I'm a neurosurgeon, and I specialize in functional epilepsy and spine surgery.